Hello guys, uh, welcome to JBoss EIP7 and my name is Veera. Today we are going to do this topic, uh, how to monitor this JBoss uh, using JMX remote. Okay, so we are going to monitor this using JVisual VM tool. Okay, so by enabling the JMX remote. This we are going to lock. So I am going to start, uh, I look at my JBoss. So I am going to start. So, when I am going to start uh, this JBoss server standalone.sh file. So the, we need to add uh, some JMX uh, remote parameters. So, so when I start this uh, standalone.sh file, it will pick this uh, <coughs> okay, JVM parameters from the standalone.conf. So from here, I will going to enable this uh, parameters. Okay, standalone.conf. So okay, here by default, uh, you can see here the JVM parameters are all here. Available. So any runtime parameters if you want, you can pass it from here. Okay, so before this, uh, let's see this uh, the JMX uh, parameter which I am going to pass. So these are the parameters which I am going to pass. Okay, the JMX remote and this is the remote port, and I will give this SSL authentication. Okay, and I am not enabled any uh, my JBoss currently nothing SSL is not enabled, so I will give the false. Okay, so by default, if you want to, uh, oh, first of all, let's open my uh, just uh, JVS for VM, just go to the path where you installed your uh, JDK. And go to this bin folder inside the where you install the Java JDK and bin folder. Okay, just in the list ls. Here you can see this JVisible VM. Okay, so just uh, give this JVisible VM. So <coughs> by using this, we can uh, okay. So let me remove this. So by default, uh, when you're trying to start any JBoss servers, okay, from your local, uh, it will by default it will enable from here. Okay, but if you want to monitor remotely, so this under this tab you need to add the particular host name where you are running your JBoss server. Okay, so add remote host. So um, I am running my JBoss on this particular host. 10.10.2.2.13 is my Linux machine IP. Click on OK. So this is a okay. And so right click on it. So it will allow it will allow to add JMX connection. Okay. So to monitor this, it is giving to add the JMX connection. Okay. So we need to enable this JMX connection in JBoss and we have to give this respective port. 9010 is the port where I am trying to enable from here. Okay, this is the JMX remote and this is my port number. So this port number I have to give here and click OK then we can see the monitor from here. Okay. So so these are the parameters which I am going to add in JBoss server now. Okay. This is JBoss. So this is the first I uh, am going to remove this. Okay. So just I added my GMX. Okay. So here so JMX remote. Uh, let me remove this two times. Okay. So I added the JMX remote and the remote port number and this is SSL is authentication and false. Okay. Okay. Let's start the JBoss server now. It will going to throw an error regarding this log manager. Okay, so this uh, logging manager. So we need to locate this log manager jar file. <coughs> okay, which is by default it will be there in uh, JBoss modules folder. Okay, so open this file. So this is located. Uh, so it will going to load this module packages. So from here. <coughs> so watch JBoss log manager <coughs> okay so from here so i need to enable this uh, the particular jar file is located uh, on a path okay so this is so uh, this is the uh, to load this jar file from the command line okay while starting the jboss server so this is my jboss path and inside the modules Okay, subsystem layer by this is the default uh, you know, folder structure in JBoss EAP7 and this ORG JBoss lock manager and main. This is the jar file I need to uh, load it. Okay, send this and moreover, one more is pending. This is the lock manager. Okay, so once you give this lock manager, just now start the JBoss. So now it will going to uh, add it successfully. If you see these parameters uh, which we added uh, from here. Okay. So these are the parameters which we added. 
so this is the jmx remote and this is the remote port and ssl authentication i think is false and i loaded this class path this char file to avoid this log error log manager error okay so now if you go to see here so i given 9010 is my port ip okay 9010 my jmx port to remotely okay so click okay so this is uh, now you will get see here on process <laughs> this is the process id of my jboss is running on that particular linux mission so here if you see this process id the host name and the uh, jdk version which i am using and the list of the jvm parameters which you passed from standalone.conf file <coughs> and the monitor so this is the monitoring uh, you can monitor this uptime so we started jboss like a uh, one minute uh, from the long time onwards so this cpu uh, utilization of the server uh, of the server okay so this is a uh, uh, jboss sorry jboss server cpu utilization and uh, this is the heap size and meta space utilization and you can perform the explicitly garbage collection if you click on this button it will perform and this is the heap uh, heap dump okay by clicking this you can it will going to generate the dumps okay <coughs> the number of class loading and the lat threads and if you see this uh, we also see the number of uh, tabs over here okay there are many tabs if you not see in your mission this many tabs uh, go to this tool tools uh, plugins okay you can get it uh, available plugins okay just check for updates then it will going to install everything all this okay then you can able to see this many uh, tabs over here uh, the next uh, threads uh, so you can see here the number of threads running <coughs> number of threads which are running sleeping and waiting and you can find out from here so this is the ambience uh, where you can uh, monitor your uh, database uh, connection pool if you use uh, hikari cp or the connection c3 p0 so from here you can monitor the number of uh, connections are opened from the connection pool number of connections are sleeping okay ideal everything can monitor from here so currently i am not enabled any database related to this but uh, it will help you a lot and this is a visible gc and uh, this will help you uh, to monitor uh, your uh, jpm uh, like uh, uh, old generation young generation and uh, survivor space uh, so all this stuff okay so how to enable this and uh, you know this is uh, some other few steps are required for this so that we will look into this next session okay so that's all uh, to load uh, you know, remote jmx uh, this is the basic steps uh, to monitor the jbo server the memory related things uh, using the jvisual vm by uh, using the JMX remote parameters. Okay. Thanks for watching this video. Thank you.